Hey, Mary, where you from, Mary? T tell everybody where you from, Mary, up there in Maryland. We got Maryland in the building. What part of Maryland you in? Hey, Steve, we got uh, my man Joe at New, New York G Hoops up in New York checking in. We got a great show tonight. We got a guy that I, I'm excited. Bowie, Maryland is where my girl Maryland, Kentucky. <laughs> Kentucky, that's that's my guy Xander. You know I know Xander's people. What's good, Joe? All right, I'm glad you're checking in, man. We got a great show tonight. We got somebody I'm excited about bringing on here. He's uh, he's a great player. Uh, he's actually our Super 60 of 2018 uh, MVP. This cat right here, man, I'm. He's a beast. He's 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 uh, he's going to Duke in in the, in the upcoming year. Um, not only did he play in the Super 60, but he also played in uh, at Huntington Prep. Had the opportunity to watch him play several times this year. What's up, GNC Elite? B Miles 2028. You way down there. Got a little ways to go, but it won't be long. Check in. Make sure you put in the comments where you're at. We like to see where you're at. I know we got San Francisco here. We got Bowie, Maryland. We got uh, Kentucky, we got Raleigh, Charlotte. Who else is checking in? Oh, uh, before we get Jamin on the line and uh, pick his brain about what it takes to be an elite athlete at his level, Fairfax Stars 2023 Maroon is in the building. Great program, love that program up there. Uh, we only got a few minutes before Jamin comes on, and uh. And uh, I want to make sure if you look at the bottom of your IG, you'll see a couple of boxes with a question mark in it. If you have any questions for me or you want to give Jamin a, some questions while he's in there, drop them in that box. I want to see what your questions are. You know, let's pick his brain. It's not every day we get a top 25 uh, player in the country. Um, you know, he's three-time Gatorade Player of the Year in West Virginia. Uh, he's an absolutely, absolute monster. Um, I'm just excited. It's a real humble kid. I love his uh, his attitude, his, his work hard ethic. You know, he's very humble. Uh, you know, you know, that's something. Hey, B. Heath, you may have to ask him. You know, put that you see that box that has a question mark? Put that in there, and we'll save that question for Jamin. That's a good question. Is he a one and done, or will he be in the brotherhood for two or three years? You know, I, I love the, the kids over at Duke. We have several alumni over at Duke right now. Um, along with Jamin, we got Joey Baker that's over there. He's a Get Me Recruited alum. We got um, uh, Wendell Moore, who is a Get Me Recruited alum. Uh, you know, then Carolina, we got some. So I'm excited about it. Uh, sorry, J Dub, can't let you in my video. That's that's reserved for uh, Jamin tonight. He'll be joining us in a few minutes. Um, Excel basketball, appreciate you checking in. Everybody wants to hear from Jamin. This is a you know top player in the country, and to watch this kid play this year, you will understand you know, why he was one of the best players in the, in the nation. Uh, being a top 25 player is not easy. It's not easy, but this kid, not only did he, you know, you know, and, and I see Jamin uh, joining in. We're going we're gonna to have him join in just a second, but I'm going to say a couple words. Not only was this young man, uh, you know, three-time Gatorade Player of the Year, but he actually won uh, the MVP as you see, if you watch the video, this is what the talent was at the And this guy was able to dominate this event. And this is one of our best events. I mean, you can watch the video and see uh, this field is no good. So we're, we're excited to have him back here. Uh, we're going to bring him in. We got more and more people checking in, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring Jamin in, and, and we're gonna get it started. Y'all ready? Let's bring Mr. Three-time Gatorade Player of the Year. Uh, 
from West Virginia. Clap it up. We got Jamin Breakfield. My man. <laughs> right, My man, what's good? What's good, baby? How's everything? Oh, good, man. Just holding it down, man. Just holding it down. Just holding it down. Yeah. It's, I, I was telling people, you know, it's hard. I mean, you're three-time player of the state, right? Yes. West Virginia. But to me, what's even more impressive is it, you you dominated the Super 60 showdown. And, and you know, it, that's not an easy feat to do with some of the competition we have there. As, as we just look at some of your highlights up there, you know, this guy, this guy was killing it, you know? Right. I mean, it speaks for itself, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah like, my second, like my second time seeing that. What was that, my sophomore year? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you looking at it like I'm looking at it. Like, yo, this guy was, yeah. he's all right, like my, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, you know, career you know now over it's about that time if you had to look back and 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 tell everybody how you would describe your career what how would you describe your career just basketball period or high school yeah just in basketball oh it was it was a long it's still not over a long it was a long journey you can hear me well yeah i hear you well mm -hmm. yep i hear you good Yeah. You can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, it was just a long journey, man. Uh, a lot of ups and downs. Like, I, I guess everybody go through ups and downs, but uh, it was a long process. Just stay with the process and continue to get better. That's right. Uh, uh, a lot of kids don't understand that it's not going to be gravy the whole time. You know what I mean? Like you just mentioned, there's some ups and downs. Right. You know what I mean? And we've been watching you uh, uh, since ninth grade. Uh, I think we first saw you right. at CP3. Um, right. You had you had went to West. Matter of fact, let's let's see. Oh, look at that young fella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, uh, I remember we rode up on you, and uh, yeah. you were just going getting ready to go to Huntington Prep. Now, right. when when you when you got to Huntington Prep. They didn't give you much of a grace period. You was expected to come in and contribute. So, oh, right, right. you know, when you went in, were you were you were you nervous? Were you anxious? Was you confident? Well, how was you feeling going to Hundred and Prep? That's a national, it's a national program. Uh, I was just excited to be on a you know a top tier team. Uh, just another chance, another opportunity to to better myself individually. But uh, as a team, you know, I went in. I wasn't. I wouldn't say I was nervous. I'm I'm pretty right. confident guy, but uh <laughs> went in no I, I knew what I was getting into. It was a lot of new guys like Kelvin Johnson, um just a lot of other like top known guys. So I knew I, I knew what I was getting to as a freshman. Um so I just uh, had to come with it. Right, 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 right. Come with it. Was those practices they intense? Oh, they was definitely intense. The practices were harder than the games. Really? For sure. I know that I know that's right. Now one thing I liked about you, you never ran from the competition. You know, if it was right. whether it was CP3, Super 60, wherever it was, you were there and you, and you went hard. So, right. you know, those events, did, did you use them as a gauge to say, you know, hey, I'm as good as these cats or I'm better than these cats or, you know, what mindset did you have going in? Oh, man, you can't be scared of competition. I feel as if um, just growing up, I was always taught like if you want to get known, you gotta go, you gotta run towards the competition. So like mm -hmm. you can't you can't sit back and you know be scared of competition if you if you want your name out there. So it's definitely what I did. Right. Like, I think it Probably, turned out pretty good. A lot of these new cats, man, they scared of the smoke, man. Yeah, it's, man. They, they don't want the smoke. Can't duck the smoke, man. It's gonna find you sooner or later, right? It's gonna the grind. No, the grind gonna find you. It's gonna find you. Go. So, so who was your favorite player coming up? Like who you looked up to and why? Uh as I started playing basketball, I really that was kinda I wanna say I would just probably like picking like just different players. I'll probably say growing up I was watching K D a lot. Um but now my favorite player is Jason Tatum. Okay. 
Okay. Why, why Jason? Jason Taylor, because his, his game's so smooth. Uh, right. just, it just looks like it comes so easy to him. You could tell he was a pro when he was in high school. Right. The right. greatest game is just, if I, if I had to like, choose anybody I would want to play like, it would be Jason Taylor. Right, right. Now, who do you that, – is that who you compare your game to? Oh, no. It's just, I compare my game to uh, multiple different guys. Uh, like just, who? Um, I wouldn't say, like, somebody in general, but I would say I have, like, traits of people's game in me. Like, for sure, I'm a, I'm a versatile power forward. So, I mean, uh, point forward, so. Right, right. can do anything. Um, so, it's a lot of a, – a big mixture of guys. One guy I used to watch a lot that I kind of saw myself in was uh, Tobias Harris. Yeah. A lot of people don't yeah. look at him a lot. Right, 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 right. I saw you. I saw you several times this past season at Huntington Prep, and I guess the biggest mm -hmm. thing was just a matchup problem. You know what I mean? They right. had a hard time matching up with you. You know, if they right. was big, you took them off the dribble. If they were little, you pound and ground. It was like they didn't right, have. Right. You know what I mean? So right. I think I think that was your advantage right there. You know, point forward, you 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 NBA material. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Like, that, that's that's the path you're going to. And, and like I said, I've seen you play a lot at Huntington Prep and in some good games, whether it was the Boat Jangles. Uh, you know, I saw you in a lot of good games. Who do you think right. was uh, your toughest matchup this year? Toughest matchup, definitely uh, this year. Mm -hmm. This year. This year. Or uh, overall, if you if it was early in your, in, early in your career. I could do both. I can do both. Mm -hmm. um, like, toughest – Person, I'll probably say we played or I had a guard. Either one. Um, well, overall, I'll definitely, definitely have to say uh, Cam Reddish. My sophomore year, we played them. Uh, we played them at uh, Chick Fil A. Right. Um, so, uh, so, so Cam was giving you buckets. Definitely Cam. I'm not gonna say <laughs> how many he had because I don't really know. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna get into that. Right. But um, this year. Uh, Let's play that we played against. I would have to. I would have to say the number one player in the country, whoever the number one player in the country. They say Jalen Green. Yeah, was it? Did y'all play them at Chick Fil A? Was it Chick Fil A? We played them uh, two times. We played them at Chick Fil A and we played them at uh, Flying to the Hoops. Okay, I know. I saw. I saw the one at Chick Fil A. I, yeah. re I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. Jail is different, man. Jail is different. Good. Yeah, yeah. Anybody, anybody, you wish you had had a chance to play? Wish I had a chance to play. Hmm. That you didn't get a like another high school kid that's out there. He doing his thing. Oh, now. definitely. While I was at Huntington Prep, I would definitely wish I could have played against Zion. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Now that definitely. was now I saw saw him at the Chick Fil A man, and I, I was you know. You know, you watch videos and you be like, all right, all right. Bro. But when I saw him in person, man, it was like, hold up, bro. This is like a truck in the air. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, he's different. He's different. Yeah, that, that was fun to watch. Right there. Now, okay, yeah, you got the size, but you got the skill set as well. So what type of grind did it take to become three-time West Virginia player of the year. I mean, you know, that ain't easy, man. Oh, yeah. Like I said, it didn't come overnight. Uh, just continue to work hard uh, and just be grateful for every opportunity and just take every opportunity you get. Like you said, don't duck smoke. Right, and right, just, right. And keep working. Keep working when the lights on and off. How often do you work out? Oh, a lot. I just got done working out. Even with this coronavirus, you can't use that as an excuse. You know, you got to push yourself. So how you adjusting? How you getting your workout in with with the virus going on? Just some one on one still, workouts. Oh yeah, I'm still able to get in the gym, or even if I um, go to an outside court right by my house. Um, but um, the main thing is just trying to stay in shape because you know you're not playing up and down a lot, so just continuing to run every day. Right, 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 right. These cats in the comments, man, they they killing me, but they they said you unfollowed them. Man. It's hey, funny, <laughs> but now your your Duke commit that's right. that's like the cream of the crop. Um, right. I guess the big question is why Duke? Why Duke? Yeah, uh, just grow up. 
um, always watching them, and I just feel like I know it's the best opportunity for me to uh, maximize my potential as a basketball player and as a person. So definitely, yeah, reason, um, I chose Duke. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a great brotherhood out there. Um, right. You know, I, I was telling my staff I remember when I was talking to Nate about you uh, right. right before they started recruiting you. And, and one of the first things they always ask is, you know, how is the kid? How, you know, what, what kind of person right. he is? Because one thing about Duke is, is they really big on character. You right. know what I mean? Uh, if you don't fit the character, I can tell you, they, they won't even come after you. They, exactly. they really won't. Um, uh, you know, you you coming into again another good class. What 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 are the expectations of the team and your role? What is your role in? Um, my role just you know doing anything I can to uh, help my team win. Uh, like people say, trying to get that uh, six championship. So definitely something I chase as a as a team individually. Just knowing, even like like with Huntington, I know what I'm getting into. So. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna be like, it's not gonna be high school, but it's gonna be the same process all over again. I'm ready for it. So. Well, and, and again, that's a good thing of why you went to, we're going to Huntington Prep was good right. because it prepared you, you know, for that, right. for that. Every night you're gonna get the best punch from that squad. Right. You know what I mean? Because beating you is gonna be, you know, a big deal. Whereas you beating them is just beating another opponent. You know what I mean? And so you have to stay up. And that was, that was you know, one of the things that I thought with Huntington Prep, man, y'all played a lot of games. A lot of games, yeah. <laughs> y'all played a lot of games, man. Like, and, we, and it's not just me on the team. Like, we got eight guys. We got eight good guys. So. No, that, that team was loaded, man. Yeah. That team was loaded. And you know, um, that, that team was loaded from top to bottom. But y'all played right, a lot right. of games. I was like, man, they playing again? Like, y'all were going from tournament to tournament the same weekend. Like, kill it. Oh, Coach Arkell, he definitely, he preaches that, too. We don't duck no smoke over here. That's one thing. We right. don't duck no smoke. I love Arkell. That's my guy right there. Um, definitely. You, um, you know, everybody know what you do well. You know, Duke fans are looking forward to it. You know, that's already the buzz in, in right. Durham. You know, so. What could they look forward to seeing in Jamin? And also, what are some of the things you may need to work on? Uh, what they can expect out of me, you know, it's an all-around guy, uh, somebody that uh, plays for the team, plays for the name on front of the jersey rather than the name on the back of the jersey. Um, so somebody that goes hard day in and day out, and that's just a hard worker. And... On the court, versatile. Uh, it's gonna be a show every time. Right, right, right. Things I need to work on that I think I definitely need to uh, maintain. Well, things I need to maintain and get it better at. Maintain while this coronavirus is going on. Just <laughs> stay healthy. You know, that's what everybody should do. And the things I need to work on, I'll probably say tighten up my handle. Uh, because, you know, when you're playing against, you're not playing against high school guys no more. You're playing against college guys. So it's right. really different. Right. Right. So definitely, definitely just the mental part of it. Um, you know, get my jump shot higher. Um, it's a lot of things I got to tweak. Uh, nobody's perfect, so. Well, you, you, you got the great Coach K. I mean, it don't get definitely. much better than that. You know what I mean? Um, and, and to learn, you know, just from some of the best, even, even the assistants. They're all strong right. players and coaches. So, right, uh, right. you know, of course, you know, the league is, you know, coming up sooner or later for you. Um, in fact, I think we had a question and we got questions for some. I, I let them ask questions as we go on. So oh, yeah, okay. let's let's look at uh, some of the questions we got. Um, in fact, one of the questions we got earlier was, do you feel, or is it a goal of yours, one and done, or you plan on staying two or three years, or you plan it by, uh, plan it by year? I just plan it by year. You know, everybody um, takes time to develop, so I can't really uh, judge right now. 
how I'm going to uh, adjust. I can't really say. I can say how I'm going to do it, but I can't really say how exactly going to plan out. But, um, you know, that's not really uh, just on me. It just it depends how I play and, and how I feel. So. Right, right. That's really, that's really up, for, up for a question for real. Right. Now, when you get to the league, is there anybody – and I see AJ uh, just jumped on. <laughs> that's my guy, your point guard there, going to Michigan State. Uh, uh, if, if you uh, if you get to the league, is there anybody in particular you want to you want to go at or you you looking oh. for playing against? Oh, definitely Tatum, Jason Tatum for sure. Tatum, Tatum for sure. Tatum, Tatum. Uh, so uh, we're gonna ask her, here here Mary. You, you know my girl Mary, your mom. Mm-hmm. She just asked mm-hmm. a question. Uh, tell everyone about your GPA and why it's important. Well, my GPA as of right now is a 3.8. And GPA is important because, because schools look at that too, uh, just as, as much as your uh, basketball game. So it's, gotta, it's very important. You got to be on your grades. Uh, you can be on probation if, if you don't reach the requirements. So um, just, I mean, why not have the grades? Why just, just settle for less? It's really yeah. important too. Yeah, no question. That, that's that's a great question, Mary. Um, just um, you know, just man, I, I, so many kids I've seen with that talent just never make it because they don't take the 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 you know the classroom part serious. And it's important right. they look up to guys like you. You know, uh, I don't know if you know Quincy Miller, but that was my nephew that I raised. And one thing I always stressed to him was books. And, you know, he had good grades. He came out number three player in the country. But what, what you find out is people look up to you. Everything you do, whether it's on the floor or off the floor, they're going to continuously look at you. Now, well, most definitely. Yeah, you know, and also, man, you know, there's going to be haters. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It, I'm sure you know it, as much as I do. Um, I've been around a long time. And with success – comes people that want to find things to 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 find negative about you. You know what I mean? Oh, definitely. And I'm sure you've seen that, right? Definitely. Yeah. What are some definitely. of the What are some of the things they say about you? Oh, that you know, <laughs> because like some people, like if I didn't go to that school they wanted me to go to, they'll say that I'm not gonna make it to the NBA. Or, uh, they'll, that's they'll yeah. wish that they'll wish that I get hurt or something like that, but. Terrible, man. It's just them upset. Yeah, it's just them being upset with uh, me not going to the school. That's what that's something people gotta watch out for. Um, like people, you might think you got fans until you don't go to their school. That's, that's right. Something, that's something right there. That's right. And you know, you you brought up a good point that I, I want to make sure that you and other players that are, are, are logged on uh, understand because I've seen it so many times. Right. You can easily get caught up in people loving you, right? right. But don't mistake it people loving you for people that love you. You know what right. I mean? There, there's definitely, a difference, definitely. right? Definitely. You know, always tell people, you know, always stay close and humble to the people that were there before you started playing basketball, right? Right. And the people that will be there if you never dribble again. You know yeah. what I mean? Uh, that's real important. One thing I liked about you, um, and I said this about Zion. Zion was one of the nicest kids I ever met in my life. Like the most mm. humble kid I've ever met in my life. And, and yeah. I've often talked about it. Um, that's one of the things that, that drew me to you. I love the humbleness. And, and I preach that over and over and over because it's easy to get caught up in that limelight. You know what I mean? Definitely. I mean, everything comes your way. I'm talking right. about drugs, alcohol, women, um, anything illegal, any kind of everything is going to come your way and it's going to come easy. Right. You know what I mean? They're going to knock on your door. Right. You got to be aware and be, you know, be smart enough to not put yourself in that situation. Right. right. And that that's what I want to see from you become successful. If that's living out your dream in the NBA, great. Um but I want to see you successful in life. You know, just the other day, 
two days ago. Two days, what's the day? Yes, yeah, Saturday or Sunday, one of those days. I get a text message that one of our alums shot and killed. You know, these are the type of things I hear all the time. Not a bad kid, but in wrong situations. And those right. situations, whether it be death or jail or losing a scholarship or whatever it is, can happen very easily if you don't surround right. yourself with people that got your best interest. You got what I'm saying? Definitely. Definitely. You know, and, and you seem to have your head on, on right. I love that. Keep that about you. Now, you know, Jalen Green just started this 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 new trend. I'm thinking. Right. Now, what what is your uh, opinion on the Jalen Green situation? My opinion on it, I think it's you know everybody got their own road. Yeah, everybody got their own journey. So I can't really judge nobody that do it. But as far as for me, you know, something could be taken care. Of, I mean, taken away from you so fast. I'd rather have uh, education I can fall back on. So. That's why I chose the path of going to college. Yeah. But no uh, like I said, everybody got their own path. I don't really have a, an opinion on it. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a good answer. You're learning already. I tell uh, another yeah. thing, you know, because I have uh, uh, counseling sessions that I do to some, some high major athletes, and one of the things I always tell them, be careful of those cameras. Be careful what oh, you definitely. say. You, you know what I mean? Um, if you're not sure, it's okay to say, well, I don't, yeah. <laughs> just, just don't, just don't say nothing. That's just right. don't say nothing. For sure. Let it go. I definitely know. No, that's right. Just I let it go. Know. I like that. I like that. If you, if you could change anything up to this point about your path, Hold on. would you, and what would it be? Can you repeat that? I said, if there was anything that you would change in your path to where you are right now, if so, what would it be? What well, have I changed? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, like, there's, there's up and downs, but I really wouldn't change them because I, I feel like I learned from them. Um, I feel like if yes. I didn't go through them, I wouldn't have learned them. So I'm yeah. kind of glad I, I learned them at an early age uh, or early stage in my life or my basketball mm-hmm. career. So, uh, I mean, I wouldn't change going to Huntington for nothing. I really wouldn't change a lot. I would just probably wish that I could have got the mindset part of it earlier. So I definitely could have been steps yeah. ahead already. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Uh, we got a couple more questions coming here. So, uh, the Kobe Young asks, which team do you look for playing against the most at Duke? The most against? Oh, definitely the um, the Duke versus North Carolina matchup. Uh, yeah. I, I, was, I was actually at that game, so. Oh, really? Got a, uh, yeah, when they played at Duke. So, I wasn't at the first one, but I watched it. Like just seeing and, and and seeing the atmosphere there is like you can tell like they're static in the air, so I just can't wait. Oh, man. You, and you and know. I and I know a lot of the guys that's going to uh, UNC next year, so it'll be fun. Right, right, right. No, yeah, I, yeah, that, that's that's gonna be fun. That's a game, man. Like, you know, ever since I went to that Duke Carolina game at Cameron, uh, and right. I sat behind the bench and I could hear everything. You know, off the record. I, I've been a Duke fan since the 80s, right? Right. Uh, so when I went to that game, I, I don't care if I ever go to another college game. It's just like, eh, you know, they okay. But, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, that, that game is, is, if you haven't been or, or seen it, it is different. You know, no, It's different. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't really get the uh... – <clears throat> the feel from it from just watching on TV. Like you gotta yeah. you gotta actually be there. Like when I was there, like I really felt I felt like I was in the game. So now had you are had you already decided at that point you were gonna go to do? Oh yeah, it was um it was like the last the uh, the last regular season game I think. Oh you went to the last regular season. Oh, right. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's good yeah. stuff. We got some more questions in here. So when you go to Duke 
what are you taking up uh, in, 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 as far as your education wise? Uh, my uh, major is actually undecided, but um, no, I, I got some ideas of, of what I want to get into, but um, it's just kind of running around in my head. And yeah, sooner or later, like when I get home, I'm going to talk to my parents about it because that's that's a, actually like it's a broad subject to talk about. So yeah. a lot of people don't take it serious because uh, that's what you could possibly be doing after basketball. So that's I'm right. definitely just gonna definitely gonna sit down and think about it for sure. That's right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, one of the parents in here asked, you know, being your high-profile player, you you on the road a lot. You know, what's your advice to younger kids on on trying to balance schoolwork and and basketball? Like you you know, you got homework, you got all these things you got to do. How did you do it? Oh yeah, we would be um, like going on the like, say if we leave on like a. Thursday, we got to miss Thursday and Friday. So the best thing to do is just talk to your teachers. Um, even if like, like, like some's online, you them like you showing them that you care, it'll like it'll help you way better, and then they'll they'll be more understanding. So it'll definitely help you like work virtually, whatever whatever you can do. Um, but just definitely just get to work, and don't wait till like the Sunday to turn it in or to start on it. <laughs> Right. I actually, I actually done that a couple of times, or plenty of times. Right. Just, just don't wait the last minute to do it, and don't not do it because it can, it can hurt you. That's right. That's right. Well, evidently you were doing it and able to keep a, a three point eight. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Now, before you go, um, before you go, we're gonna play a little game. I like that, that called name that old school. Now, name that old school. We're it's a basketball player? Basketball players. We're going to name that old uh, school, right? So uh, you're going to Duke. So obviously we're going to Y'all got to take it easy on me. You got to take it easy <laughs> nah, on me. Nah, you, you, you're going to Duke. I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna, I made it easy on you because all these right here have their jerseys in the rafters. These are Duke gods, right? Duke gods. Now, we, I, ain't got, <laughs> I ain't got but five. All right, the, the, All right. The, 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 the people watching say, can they help? If y'all know it and, 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 and Jamin's struggling, go ahead and help him out here. Well, we're going to start with the first one. Some of these are easy. I know you know. All right, we're, we're going to start out with this guy. Who is this guy? Oh, that's Jay. That's Jay. Jay Williams. Yeah, Jay Williams. Yeah, yeah. Jay Williams. Jason Williams. Yeah, Jay, 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 Jay won the 2000. Ain't he a commentator now? That's Isn't right. he a commentator now? That's right. Yeah, that's easy. That one was easy. You, you know he was easy. the second overall pick in the in the league too. I did not know that. Yeah, he he led the ACC in scoring. Um, uh, he had twenty two points a game. Led them to the two thousand one national championship. In fact, yeah, that was a that was a great year. So yeah, yeah, he was player of the year. There you go. Um, I think it was 2002, Shiva. Shiva's coming 2001, but I think it was 2002. Um, I think, they, yeah, they won the champion. Yeah, it was 2002. But, yeah, so Jay Williams, all right, so you got that one. All right, now here we go. Player two. Now, you got five chances, man. Don't let me hit Nate up and be like, yo, man, he don't know the gods, man. All right, here we go. Player number right, two. Here we go. JJ, come on, man. You got to make it a little harder, man. You got to make it a little harder. JJ, JJ ready? All right, we'll see. We'll see if you get all fine now. The, all of you these guys have tired jerseys. He, too, um, college player of the year. I think it was 2006. Uh, yeah, 2006. He was college player of the year. You know, JJ actually had made 457 threes at Duke. Can you imagine Man, that? That's a lot. That's a <laughs> lot. Yeah, that's a lot. 456. That's I think he lot. broke, if I remember right, he broke Trades and Langdon. And I didn't put Trades and Langdon. Now, there's a lot of Duke players I could have put up there, but uh, I, I didn't do you like that. I just kept it to the retired jersey. You don't know who Trades and Langdon is, do you? Who? Trades and Langdon. No, I don't. I don't. Uh, Trades and Langdon, let me tell you. I don't know who that is. He was from Alaska, and they called him the Alaskan Assassin. 
he was actually the number one three point uh, field goal percentage before JJ Reddick got there. Um, I think that's that was, okay. You got so I, I, you know. Matter of fact, Nate Nate might have been around that trade sometime. I think I have to I have to look at see somebody commented the Alaskan assassin. They know him now. He was tough back then. Now, uh, all right, we're gonna go to another pretty easy one. We'll see. Uh, here we go. Is that uh, Christian Leitner? There you go, Christian. You starting a little bit. You, you come on, man. <laughs> nah, man. I, I was, nah, man. I got now, it. Christian, three for three, man. You three for three. Three for three. three, for three Christian, man. Christian arguably had the greatest college career ever. Like, really. Yeah, that, that's why I knew that one. Yeah, like, people don't realize, like, his career was crazy. I had wrote some things. You know, not only did, it, of course, he made the shot with Kentucky that everybody knows. He led them in 91, 92 back-to-back championships. Him and Grant, Grant Hill were on that squad. Uh, but Christian also was the only player to be on that dream team. Uh, yeah. with, with Jordan and all those guys, he was the only collegiate player to ever be on it. The, and there you go, like somebody just, uh, just commented. He probably was the most hated guy in Duke's history. Uh, <laughs> He really was. They they hated Christian Lakeman. Really. Like, really hated Christian. They got, like, All a right? documentary or something on him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if you... Oh, yeah. if you I'm about to go watch that tonight. Man, this, this dude's career, like, he's holding records. Like, people don't, you know, of course, they didn't like him, but Christian Lakeman, there, there's arguably the best college career ever. Like, if you go watch sure. it, it was unreal. Unreal. He just won year after year. I'm gonna give you another easy one. What I consider easy one, we'll see. All right, we three for three. Here we go. Boom. Who we got? Bro, <laughs> I knew he was gonna put this one. I forgot his name though. Because <laughs> when I was at the game, no, no, no. Listen, I'm gonna get it. I'm not even gonna look at the uh, what's the name. He was at the game. Yeah, he was at the game. That's because he royalty. I couldn't remember. I can't remember his name though. I ain't gonna lie. I can't remember. <laughs> So yeah, Grant Hill, Hill, Grant Hill, Grant, Grant Hill. Hill. There you go. Yeah, yeah Grant, Grant Hill. Uh, and Shai was also uh, just just commented, yeah, uh, there's no argument. Uh, Christian Leighton was the most hated. Grayson Allen is number two. Yeah, you got to go watch it. Christian, they, they hated Christian. But, yeah, Grant Hill, Grant Hill is, man, to watch him play. Like, man, I'm telling you, Duke is rich in history, man. And, and I – I could have, when I was looking up who to put up, I had to go with just retired dudes. Because if I didn't go with retired dudes, it's deep. It's really right. deep. Now, this last one, I don't think you're going to get it. I, now, I know my people. You don't think comments, I'm going to get it? I don't think you're going to get it. I think my comments are going to get it. Y'all hold up in the comments. I want to see if this cat that's going to do it, no one of the greatest they ever do it, at do All right? He's a two-time First team ACC. He's 1986 Player of the Year. Who is oh this? Oh my gosh! Come on, baby. Who is this? You gotta know this. You gotta know this. Hold on, I didn't pop up yet. Man, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. Who, who is Johnny that, Dawkins. Johnny Dawkins, man. Yeah, he's, he's, nah, uh, he's, I heard he's of his name. He's UCF's head coach right now. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's the head coach at UCF. And so you see everybody commenting Johnny Dawkins. Man, that's a royalty, man. He, no, I definitely heard the name. So when you talk about Johnny, like I remember, and I hate to say how old I am, but I remember watching him play. But mm-hmm. he literally started this era of Duke winning. So that's why – people know him because Duke for years when I first started liking them they weren't that great right, right. Uh, in fact the little known story I guess you could ask Coach K but when he first got there he had several losing he lost for a while and they were looking at getting rid of him uh, right. yeah and so uh, Johnny Dawkins and then along came Tommy Amaker and that history right there those guys and I know that's before your time see I'll I start to get ridiculous and, and put up Mike Jeminski, but no, I don't I, know who that is. 
<laughs> right, right. But Mike Jeminski is the first person to get his jersey retired. But anyway, good job. You got, what did you get? Three? Three we're of them, right? Yeah, we're going to take three. three we're going to take three, three, right? Three out of five. Not bad. I'm gonna three tell, out of five. You tell Nate to take you in the room and, and you know, kind of show you a little film. But if you get a chance, definitely go watch that Christian Lakeman. Oh, definitely. definitely. I'm about to do that tonight. For sure. Yeah, do that. Do that. Well, man, uh, I, I sure appreciate you coming through. I'm sure the people appreciated it. You know, uh, you continue that path. Uh, one thing I promise you is I am going to catch your game there. I told I told Joy and Wendell that I definitely, I told them in December, I'm coming to a game there. Um, I'll be so busy during that time because, you know, all the tournaments are going on. That I don't really get to go right. as much. But I'm definitely coming to watch you play because, hey, I got to pay homage to the 2018 Super 60 MVP. There's nobody that's going to do it as well as Damon. Before I let you go, is there anything you want to say to the people or shout anybody out? Man, shout out Mama Mary, man. Shout out Mama Mary, first of all. I'm going to call when I get off. Shout out to you, man. Appreciate all the love. Um, for no the past question. years, and just no question. appreciate, yeah, appreciate it, man. For real, hey, we appreciate you, man, and we wish you nothing but luck, good luck, and 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 keep working hard, man, and and anything you need, you know. Once you've been, you know, and I, we're we're like a brotherhood over get me recruit. Anything you need, or advice, or anything you need, we're only a phone call away. You know, you got. You got my number, you got Mary's number, anything you need, just reach out to us. All right? So, appreciate you, my all man. All right, man. I appreciate you and everybody. Stay tuned. We're gonna have uh we're gonna have uh, um Julian Newman on Thursday. Thursday, Julian Newman, the child prodigy, will be on speaking his truth uh Thursday. So definitely check in Thursday. It's gonna be a great show. Um, again, Jamin's a great guy. It was a great show with him. But check it us out Tuesday. I mean, Thursday, we got Julian Newman in the building. We're out. We thank you, and we'll talk to you soon.